What is it? Boo. Is that used clothing? What do you think? Is that a is that two thread up boxes? Do you want to open them? I know. All right, guys, we are here today with a 100 pound rescue box from ThreadUp. I haven't done a ThreadUp video in probably about a year and I had some credits, so I decided to buy one. I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys wanted to see and the majority said 100 pounds. So here we are. Um, if uh, my expectations are, if I can sell half of this, uh, 50 pounds worth, it will probably be, you know, somewhere, I don't know. I don't know how many items that's gonna be. Um, but this is a Gap Extra Small. This is, feels nice. I don't know what the material is. It's got mohair, 35% mohair and acrylic and nylon. So that's why it feels nice. That's good. I mean, I don't mind picking up Gap. I do occasionally. So if there's no stains. Also, none of this is gonna be listed by the time this video goes up. Usually I have everything listed, but since I don't know the quantity and I'm just excited to open it and share it with you guys, um, yeah, it might take me, it'll probably be all listed by the end of this week when this video goes up. Uh, Lady Henry Seagal, I don't know. It doesn't really look like anything, but I could be wrong. It's just black pants, looks like a low rise, uh, pretty tiny, size zero. I'm guessing these aren't worth anything. I'll make a couple piles um, just to keep it easy for me, but I don't think, uh, I, I am having a yard sale with some family members soon. So um, if anything isn't worth over $10, I'm probably just gonna throw it in a yard sale pile. George, um, not a brand I've ever tried to sell. I'm not sure on the comps. It is a cute little dress. It's kind of got like an ombre look to it or a dip dye. And that's more of like an ombre. Anyways, I'll look at the comps. I'll have a maybe pile over here. <laughs> so, all right, this is loft size so small. Just a pink sweater. So if it if it is washable and I can wash it, I'll try and get it listed. Loft isn't the best selling, but I should be able to get probably at least, you know, 12 to 15 for that. Banana Republic Factory. I have picked up or I have sold factory. Um, I usually don't pick it up, which is the three dots under it. These are kind of funky. A pair of Bermuda shorts with the buttons. I might actually sell these because I think the style is pretty cute. So if there's no issue, probably everything should probably be in that, um, you know, 15 to 25 range. If it's not, I'll let you know. Uh, the limited collection, this is just a career skirt. This is an easy photo, so it might only get 10 to 15, but it's very easy to do a quick steam and photograph. So I'll list that. I've learned, I used to do a lot of thread up boxes when I first started my YouTube channel. I've learned to keep the expectations low so you don't get disappointed. Um, this is Outback Red, which I've never heard of. It doesn't feel like good quality, like just the waistband, plus you can see some stretching. So my guess is this isn't anything. Um, so it'll probably just go yard sale. LuLaRoe, uh, I just think it's flooded, so I won't sell it, especially something basic like this. I know there are some more unique pieces, but this is just going to go yard sale and yard sale. I usually just list or I just have all clothing as a dollar. So if I could sell half of the yard sale pile for a dollar, you know, make 30 to $40 back. That's fine with me. Uh, the limited collection. So this must be the same person again, easy photo. So I'll list that. This is seventh Avenue, New York and company. Um, this is pretty tiny and I do not think I will be able to get much for this. It is a really cute style though, to be honest. Um, kind of has a little retro flair. So you know what? I'll list that because it's an easy photo and I might only get 10 to $12 for it, but I think the style is cute. All right. This, it does not have a brand, but it's just a little dress. All right. There is material tag. It does say made in Italy, but it definitely, oh, fashion for, so it probably is like a street brand from Italy. Um, it does not feel like quality. So this will just be a yard sale item, which is totally fine. This is made well. Um, there is a pull again. I'm not looking at everything in great detail because then we'd be here all day. Um, that pull, I can probably thread right back through and still sell this, which is not bad or there too. No, that's just the same one. Anyway, it's just a little gray cardigan, a size small. I might be able to get about 25 for that. This is the limited 
uh, factory outlet. It's got the three dots, um, but it's kind of cute. It's like a sleeveless mid-length vest. So I'll list that. Probably only get, you know, 15 to 20 for it, but it's, it's adorable in my opinion. All right, a new day, Target. Um, no, I don't think I'm gonna sell it. I think I'm just gonna throw it in yard sale. It's not the right season. Looks a little like it has been washed a number of times. So I'm just not gonna mess with it. Uh, the loft, size large, just a cream top. It looks like it's like a boxier fit. Um, if there's no flaws on this, I'll list it and hopefully get about 15. This is something I've never seen before, but it doesn't feel like quality peach. Extra, extra small. They're just navy pants, elastic waist. I can't imagine. I will double check the yard sale pile um, when it's all said and done to make sure I'm not, you know, <laughs> making a mistake, but I can't imagine that's worth anything. So Old Navy Active, also yard sale. Um, you can tell it's cracked. It's also extra small. So these wouldn't get much, I can't imagine, online. So those will just go yard sale. All right, this is Decree. Not familiar with where they sell that maybe a walmart brand or kohl's or something like that size large but not the right season not going to be worth holding on to for the fall so that'll just be yard sale all right banana republic it's factory the sloan fit i have sold the sloan fit a couple of times uh never the factory so but some people don't really care i know that i never really mind like i never cared if i bought something factory so they're a nice career pant if they're in good shape Looks like they've got a little spot right here that should be able to come out in the wash. Um, besides that, you know, should be able to get 15 to 20. This is another Old Navy Active. So extra small, petite, again, yard sale. They're uh, like a bootleg. All right, this is Hollister. This is a sequin dress. Um, I can see some missing sequins and some strings, so that'll just be yard sale. This is Jones, New York, um, which is Macy's or something. Anyways, it is just a gray kind of turtleneck casual. Won't get much, so I'll probably just yard sale that. I did get a whole bunch of free stuff and I did do a fill a bag. So I have quite a bit of inventory right now. So that's kind of why I'm just being a little pickier. And um, you could absolutely list most of this. It's just, I don't need the stuff. This is a cute little top. However, there is no brand. You can see it's been cut out up there. There might be a material tag, but it doesn't feel like high quality. There is no material tag. So that'll just be probably yard sale. All right, this is Ann Taylor Loft. It's a large petite. Um, it's an easy photo, super easy. And large petite, I don't find very often. It's a cute, I think it's a cute little pattern. So. Yeah, we'll do it, probably 15. This is Doncaster Collection. I've never picked up Doncaster. I feel like it's a, I don't know, but this is interesting. I'll have to look this up. It is 100% silk. So I feel like I've seen other people pick up Doncaster. There is a spot in here. So depending on condition and comps, that's kind of a maybe. I've got my couch right behind you, so that's what I'm throwing stuff on. This is Active USA. I don't think this is worth much. It is a cute style and it's an easy photo. Um, size medium, I really like the color and the distressing. So I'll probably list that. Might only get you know, 10, 15. I just don't think that brand is worth much, but. All right, Talbot's Petites. This is a size 12, just a gray pair of slacks. This is, uh, I don't know if those dots are the outlet. Um, Looks like there's some wear or some something, and these are just kind of basic, so I'll probably just do yard sale for that. You really only need a couple good finds in here, but man, I've gotten some bad and some really good thread up boxes. I've gotten real Chanel and thread up. So this is LuLaRoe, just a maxi skirt. I know some people will still sell these. I'm just gonna throw it in the yard sale pile. This is the Royal Standard Collection. I don't think this is anything, but it does actually feel like silk, maybe. Uh, no polyester. So my guess is this is nothing, but I will take a look since it's kind of appropriate for the season. Um, alternative apparel. I feel like they just do branded t-shirts and stuff. This is a size small. 
If it were a little bit bigger, I'd just keep it. But I don't think this is gonna be worth anything. So this is Banana Republic Petite. There are a lot of petites in here, which is not a big deal, but not the same size. So like a two versus a 12. This is actually a really cute little dress though. Um, so I'll probably list that with this print on the bottom. All right, this is Express, the editor pants. These are a red shiny kind of pair of slacks. Um, this is zero regular. So if there aren't any spots, I'll list them. Kind of funky and fun, kind of a statement piece. Again, nothing so far appears to be much more than 15 to $20 in value. This is Josephine Essentials. I've never seen this. It does not look like anything. Uh, size six polyester rayon blend, dark brown slacks. Um, I can't imagine this is worth much, so I will yard sale that. This is Under Armour, as you can see on the waistband. Um, there's a tiny little bit of pilling, but I'm sure they're still sellable, sellable for something. This is the Limited. This is a black turtleneck. It's got these buttons down each side, which is kind of cute. I'll sell that, it seems to be in decent shape, just needs a lint roll. This is New York and Company. Um, it is, yeah, I don't think this is gonna get much. Also the tag's kind of mangled, so I'll just yard sale that. This is apartment nine. I think that's Walmart or something. Pink capris, I will yard sale those. I know some people don't like it when you go fast. Some people like it when you do go fast. For 100 pounds, I have to go fast or, you know. Charter Club, the pants shop, size 10. These are the classic fit. So another pair of slacks. Not too thrilled, you know. Uh, I don't really like pants in general, but especially if, just because the steaming and the photos, um, so I'll just yard sell that. This is Leah and Viola, I think is how you would say it. This is a cute little top. It's got little sleeves that are kind of flutter sleeves, but. This is probably just a little boutique brand. Um, so I'm guessing it's not gonna be worth much. So I'll just yard sell that. Sometimes you could just tell by the tag <laughs> and the feeling if it's worth looking up. I've, I've made mistakes though, so I will double check everything. Time and True, I think this is Walmart as well. Just a white turtleneck. I will yard sell that one. All right, this is J. Crew 365. This is a peach button front shirt. I am sure there is a spot on here, but if there isn't, I'll sell it. It's a size six. It's a nice little basic. This is Seventh Avenue, the New York, yeah, New York and Company. Just a little polka dot. Um, again, I don't think this brand gets too much and it's got some like pilling on the inside. So I do like polka dots, but all right. Joyce Leslie. It doesn't feel like anything. Um, it is a kind of bodycon ruched dress. Uh, looks like there might be a spot on the back. All right, so no material tag. I'll look this up. I don't really think it's much, but there's no size, no material tag, so that's a maybe. Ooh, what is this? Kenneth Cole, New York. Look at how fun that is. I'll absolutely sell this if there's no spot, just because I think that's so fun and so perfect for spring, summer. Um, Kenneth Cole, extra small and you only get, you know, 15 for that probably. Ann Taylor Loft, the factory. This is just a little blue knit top. Um, easy photo. So I'll probably list it. I need to make my money back on this box. And so far, although we still have half this box and a whole other box. So this is Hesley, small, medium does not look like anything a um, little boutique or something but it's just got the beading and some fringe uh, but the tag doesn't look like anything so this is a maybe i'll look it up and see if it's worth listing whoops all right takeout i know i've seen this in the bins but i have never looked it up it does not feel like quality um but uh, yeah i can't imagine this is anything so that's just yard sale all right this is interesting. It says Annie Bing. It's almost like it's the owner's name or something. It's a black sweater with this V-neck and this tie. It's got the eyelash fringe on it. 
I don't know, Annie Bing is right here too. It's Viscos Polyamide Elite. And so that might be something. Never heard of this, but we'll see. We'll put that over in the might be something pile. <laughs> All right, this is Sugar Lips. Uh, it's a cute little top, but this looks like a boutique brand. It does have a spot right there. So if, oh, it's got quite a bit of spots. Um, yeah, I can't imagine this is worth anything. So this is just going to be yard sale. All right. This is a no brand. It kind of feels like one of those Amazon dresses, like boutique Amazon dresses. Uh, it's a cute little floral print. Uh, it does have some tears on the back, but it does not feel like quality. Yeah, no tag, so that'll just be yard sale. All right, Banana Republic Factory Petite Double Zero. Well, I mean, if you've got to have petite, I guess double zero would be it. Uh, this is a cute sheath dress. Animal print, kind of classic. Might only get 15 to 20, um, but I'll list that. This is Banana Republic Factory, the designer tee, extra small. It's got a little peplum waist. It's a, like a nice little pastel pink. So if it's in good condition, I'll sell that. Probably at about only about $10. This is the limited size two. Um, easy photo, kind of a fun little abstract print. So again, probably only, you know, 15. The Banana Republic Factory. This is a size uh, zero petite. It does have a pull in the fabric. And so that is just not going to be worth it considering it's factory. It's super tiny. It's flawed. All right. DKNY. This is a jacket. It does have kind of the zipper pockets. Um, I'll sell it if it's in good shape. Probably maybe 20 if it's in good shape. This is JOA. Just want to answer. I think I picked this up and sold this a couple times. I think it's a Los Angeles brand. This is a cute little top. It's got the embroidery, the stripe. So if it's not damaged, I think I should be able to get 20, maybe 25 for this. But JLA might be a little bit better. I'll just have to try and find that exact style. All right, this is Express. This is an older tag, 5'6". This is a black um, maxi dress, just a basic maxi dress. I can't imagine, although this tag could be vintage. So I'll look that up. Um, you know, maybe 15. This is paper crane. I think I just picked this up at the bins recently. This is a cute little top, but I'll probably only, I think someone said this is stitch fix, but I can't, don't hold me to that. Uh, this is a cute top, perfect for the season. I'll probably get, you know, 15 is my guess, but I don't think I've ever tried, looked up comps for that brand. I know some people think that if you're on YouTube, they'll send you better boxes. I've never seen that to be true in my boxes. I've just gotten such a variety. Uh, this is Express, the publicist pants. These just feel like they're, I don't know how to describe it, but they like, they like they were washed and they dried weird. So I don't think that that, I don't know if you can see, but it's just kind of got this weird feeling. So I'll just do the, it's also doesn't seem like it's a good style. I mean, it's classic, but. All right, this is Charter Club. This is extra small. Um, yeah, probably just yard sale. I did sell quite a bit of Charter Club. I got it for free during COVID when I needed the product and I was really thankful and it sold. It just, you know, not very quickly and not for much. All right, this is Ann Taylor Petites, Zero Petite. And this is another skirt. Um, easy photo, just needs a lint roll. But at least it's a cute little print. So again, probably 15. All right, Body Central. <laughs> this feels really, really cheap. <laughs> Uh, the tag, never seen it. I just can't believe this is anything. So that'll be yard sale. All right, limited. This tag looks really worn. There are some holes in the back, I think. Yeah. Um, so these are just going to be yard sale. Something new with tags. Oh, 
I actually know this brand and this is a decent brand. What are we doing here? Okay, so I will show you this tag because I don't know what I'm doing, but it's R plus A, R to A, R to, what does it stand for? I can't remember what it stands for. Um, oh, it's got last chance as is. The last chance price was $71.97. I know it's a pretty expensive brand because I have looked it up. Comps are kind of mixed. I honestly don't know what this style is. It's got some sort of lining in it. So it's got like a zipper. I think this is a shirt, but I can only find one sleeve. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure that out, but it's new with tags. It is white, which is concerning, but if there's no spots, I'll figure out how, what this is. I think maybe it's a top. Yeah, we'll see. But at least it has the, the brand tag, so I can just cut off the last chance uh, tag, but yeah. All right, Banana Republic Factory. It looks really dingy. Um, well, I mean, it's cream, but I don't know. Yeah, it just doesn't, it looks, it's pilled all under the arms, so that'll just be yard sale. This is... I don't know what that is. It looks like it's a triangle. And it looks like there was a triangle down here as well, but both of those are coming apart. So I don't know what this brand is, but it will be yard sale. Another new with tags, this is Toby. Okay, so I think, I don't know what this is. I think maybe it's a top, it's just a halter and you just tie up here is my guess. So yeah, as long as that's not flawed, that'll get sold. Still only about maybe 15 for that. All right, bar three, Macy's brand. This just looks tired. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's got this like faux leather on the sides, medium. It does have wool in it. It's a non-leather. So yeah, I don't know if I can steam it out. It's not a bad style. Okay, some more new with tags in here. That's good. So maybe I got to the better part of the box. Okay, this is We the Free. This is not new with tags, but it is cute. It's got the lace and it's a size medium, but it looks pretty tiny or just, you know, a smaller fit. So that'll get sold probably about 15. All right, this is new with tags, Lulu's, and it's got the Nordstrom tag. And then it was on sale for $51.60. So that's good, especially because it's bridesmaid season. It's pretty tiny, extra small, but as long as there's no flaw, I'll take it. This is Morona. You can see uh, size medium, labels kind of coming off. So this will probably just be yard sale. All right, I don't know what this is, a rainy sport, a rainy sport. Uh, just a pair of leggings with a funky little print. So I will look them up. This is kind of a maybe. It's not a high rise, it's a low rise. Um, it doesn't feel like great quality, but I might be you know, able to still get 20 or something. So we'll see. Uh, Abilene, Abilene. This is just an animal print, kind of a greenish color. So we know how I feel about that. It feels like polyester, it doesn't feel like high quality. 97 polyester, size extra small. I, I don't know this tag I don't know I'm sure it's sellable so it might only be 10 or 15 but that's okay all right made well size medium uh, gosh I go through a lot of black tees so this might be a keeper to be honest um I've sold this style by made well it doesn't get too much maybe you know 12 to 15 but I'll try that on <laughs> I get a lot of holes in my t-shirts because I just wear the same ones all right, Lily Pulitzer, this is a size 10. And it's a hot pink skirt. So, A-okay by me. Maybe only 25 for that. Okay, this is BCBG Max Azria. Um, kind of has a little bit of that schoolgirl look with the plaid, a little bit of, you could do grunge. It's got the exposed zipper on the side. Um, so, that's actually pretty cute. Uh, I won't get much for this. Sorry, I didn't show the tag. It's a size four. Won't get much for this, but maybe 25 since 90s is kind of back. So using those kinds of keywords. All right, Seriously Soft. This is, I can't remember what brand that is. It's not American Eagle. It's the other one, isn't it? 
Anyways, it's just a blue tea. I do not think this is gonna be worth much, so that'll just be yard sale. It is soft. Okay, so Lululemon. I'm like, this feels nice, but I can't find a tag. And then I found the little logo. It is black on black logo, if you can see right there. So, um, man, if this is my size, again, I do not need stuff, but I just go through these types of things like crazy. Um, so we'll see. I, don't, I think it looks a little small for me. So that'll probably be sold. Maybe, um, maybe 20 for that. At least the bottom of the box is a little better than the beginning of the box. All right, Market and Spruce. I can't remember, but someone will put in the comments of where this is from. Extra, extra large, great size. It's green. It's a great fall piece. So I don't think this brand is worth much, but I'll sell it. Interesting. Okay. I obviously opened this upside down, but it was opened. Um, it says, thank you for your bulk purchase. We hope you enjoy your women's clothing lot. Thanks for being a valued shopper. That's interesting. I've never gotten a little handwritten note. So that's really sweet. And then the um, $300 thing. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame Thread Up for shipping issues. There's shipping issues all the time. Okay, maybe the better stuff was at the top of the box and I opened it upside down. So maybe they intentionally did that. <laughs> Athleta, this is a size small, just a long sleeve little top. Probably only get, you know, 20 to 25 for that, but still a brand I'd pick up. This is, label is torn out. It does not feel like any quality. It feels kind of cheap. Um, so unbranded, it'll just be yard sale. Max edition petite, just a three fourth length sleeve dress. I don't think this is gonna be worth much. So that'll be yard sale. Ann Taylor loft, extra small. This is a cute little top, kind of delicate. And it's got this kind of gold trim you can see. So I'll, just, I'll definitely sell that, that's adorable. Hopefully there's no stain. Uh, probably, you know, 15 to 20, since it's kind of got more of that feminine vibe, maybe 20. Liz Claiborne collection, size 16. It's a full zip. It's an older tag and it feels like it just has lint and some pilling. Um, it's also just not an interesting style. So I think I'll just do yard sale for that. I will tell you how many items went to each pile at the end. Kindred, bravely, no idea. Never heard of this. It's a soft top with this kind of draped front. Um, I've never heard of this, so I don't think this is anything, but it is a size extra large and it's viscose and it does have the brand on the material tag too. So this might be something um, just based off of like style, I think still in that 15 to 20 range. It doesn't feel like, you know, super high end, but all right, I think this is an express reversible shirt because I have um, tank top because I have sold one like it, which would indicate why it wouldn't have any um, tags. But I think that's what this is. So just a lighter green and a darker green. So I'll sell that. I'll throw it on the size six mannequin. It looks like it should be able to fit. And yeah, Bisu, Bisu. I don't think I've ever tried selling this brand. Um, and I don't even know if the brand is still around anymore. But I do kind of like the top, this sheer paneling up front and some sheer accents it kind of has that 90s vibe. So, you know, I might only get 10 to 15 for it, but easy photo. Okay, Rebecca Taylor. It is a little tunic top. Rebecca Taylor uh, resells for a lot and it's good quality. It does not resell for a lot. So I usually will only pick this up if it's like the bins because it's lightweight usually, but this is a cute top. So hopefully I can be able to, I can still get maybe 25 for this. All right, Banana Republic stretch, size zero. This is shiny, another pair of shiny pants. Interesting. Um, this is an older Banana Republic tag. So I don't know. People are gonna start going out. Maybe I'll list them. All right, box number one, let's move on. All right, this is Sparkle and Fade, which is Urban Outfitters. Let's see if I can get it all situated. Kind of a sheer top, animal print, and there's Sparkle and Fade. That's a cute top, size medium, I'll sell it. Kind of has like a slit open back. So probably only 15, maybe 18 for that. K 
Okay, this is Women Within. It's a 26W. It is uh, kind of new without tags just because it's got the button attached. Uh, because size, because it's new without tags, and it feels like it might be a linen blend now. 100% cotton. I'll look up comps since they're a good size and they're kind of a summer pant. I might sell them, um, but this is not a brand I would normally pick up. So we're just going to put this in. Uh, this maybe, maybe pass. Le Moda. Uh, it's kind of an ombre lace. Might be like a beach cover up or something like that. I've never heard of this brand. I can't imagine it's worth much, but it is a cute little boho style. So I'll probably sell this, um, but it doesn't look like it's worth much. So, you know, who knows? <laughs> Somewhere between 10 to 20 is my guess. For this, it's a little tank top floral. It is missing some sort of belt because it's got the belt loops on it. It does have an RN number. My guess is it's like Loft or Banana Republic or something like that. So I'll look up the RN number. It is a cute little top. Um, the little belt loop things can be trimmed. Uh, so we'll see, that's a maybe. Land's End 22W. These are kind of cute just cause it's plaid, classic. It's kind of a nice fall piece. So um, yeah, I'll list those. Good size. I'm already in the fall mindset, probably because it's already toasty. Uh, Banana Republic Factory Extra Small Petite. It is a fun little mint green tank, and it's got some sort of tie action going on because there's a couple. I think it's a tie on the side, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's an easy photo. So if there's no spot, I'll list it. Uh, Zara. This is a little midi dress, just a basic blue. So if there's no spots on this, should be able to get, you know, 20 to 25 for that. All right, this is Y something and I, I don't, Robin and Robin, but it is cute. It's got this little pastel. So if there's no flaw with this, I think style wise, this is cute. So I might only get 10 to 20, but yeah. All right, this is J. Crew. It is the cursive tag, which is not, I don't think this is the newest, but it is a newer tag. This is a really fun little print and it's nice small. So yeah, absolutely. I'd pick this up at the bins. I would say so far, not much of this is stuff I would pick up unless I was at the bins, but all right, pieces. It feels pretty cheap. It's like a faux leather. Pieces, accessories, pieces.com. It does have the name of the skirt. So really easy listing. Um, so I'll list it. I can't imagine this is gonna be worth much, but it seems to be in good shape. So, and I've never heard of the brand. All right, exclusively Masuk. This does not have a size, but man, oh man, do you see this? <laughs> it's like a disco ball over here. Full zip, it's like a brown um lots of shimmer so this is a plus size because it's the woman exclusive it's the masuk woman so i will just do measurements it looks like it's probably a one to two x but if it's not flawed i can sell this i've sold this brand before um because it's so funky and fun i might be able to get 35 to 40 for this but we will see this is seven not seven for all mankind but the like lower and brand. I don't know where they sell that one, but this does have some stuff at the, on the shoulders, a couple of missing beads. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm really too excited about this. Uh, so this is probably just going to be yard sale. This is INC size small, just a black little top with some studs. So if there's no missing stud, I'll sell this probably only get, you know, 10 to 12. All right. Forever 21 size small. Just a little sweater. Um, is that a spot? I don't know. Uh, if it's in decent shape, it's kind of a cute style. It's kind of a little bit different than a just regular stripe. So I'll list it, maybe only 10 to 12, but. All right, this is Nike. It's just a shirt, short sleeve shirt. It's got the swoosh over here, bright yellow. That's great, safe for running. Um, so I probably won't get too much for this, but it is a brand people search for. So maybe 15 if it's in good condition. 
All right, C and E, 1X. No idea, but it's summer appropriate. It's a plus size at 1X and it's a fun print. So you better believe I'll sell that. Um, I don't know the brand though. So my guess just on quality, yeah, <laughs> 15. <laughs> As I put, have put most things in that bucket, but that's where we're at. All right, J. Crew, perfect fit, extra, extra small, just a green long sleeve tee. I honestly can't imagine this is going to sell for much. Um, so I'm just going to yard sale that. Although, you know, it's a really easy photo. So we'll just list it, 10 bucks. But I might change my mind on that one. <laughs> All right, Romans, I have no idea where they sell this. I have seen it in the bins, so my guess is, is it's not very expensive. Uh, this is a 14W, but, and it's kind of a nice little like lime green, I guess you could say. So it's a nice little summer top, but I don't think this is worth much. So, all right, Everly. This is just a basic. It does have kind of this, a little bit of like a balloon sleeve. Um, it's very soft. I want to say this might be stitch fix. I could be completely off, but, um, I feel like that's what has, someone has said before. Um, anyways, it is a size large and if it's in decent shape, I'll sell it. Tell this jean jacket or jean, uh, shirt, front and front shirt. This is an older Talbot's tag size small. I'm just going to yard sale that one. I do like some Talbot's just not some of the basic older stuff. All right, this is like a little nightgown. There is a small hole up here, maybe where a tag used to be. It does feel very soft. All right, so it is 95% viscose, but the material tag looks like it's maybe a, maybe that Italian brand from earlier that was nothing. So uh, to be honest, I might just have this as a sleep shirt because I sleep in a lot of sleep shirts. So all right, Robert Scott LTD, new with tags, definitely vintage. The retail price on this is $90. Okay, uh, no idea what this brand is. My assumption is that it is vintage. It is 100% pure wool. Um, and there's the little new with tags and then the little price. So it is a fun print. So I'm sure this will sell. Right, boo? You wanna say hi? She doesn't care. She's like, more stuff, more stuff. All right, Coral Bay Petite, just a little tea. It is cute, it is perfect for the season, but I don't think this is anything. I will look it up because I've never heard of this brand. Um, you know, it has these weird pulls in the fabric though. I don't know if you can see them. So that's probably just gonna be yard sale. Do you wanna say hi? You wanna go buy me again? Yeah. All right, this is Pink Rose. I do not think this brand is anything. I've never, I've never actually looked it up, but I see it all the time in the bin, in the bins. Um, this is just a tank top, polyester, so that'll just be yard sale. Okay, this feels very cheap, like <laughs> very cheap. It does not have a label and it does not have a material tag. So this is definitely a yard sale. Patagonia! Ah! Okay, so day is made. <laughs> Let's hope it's real. Yes, it's real. All right. <laughs> this is the Uprisal hoodie. This is a, please don't be my size, please don't be my size. Medium, regular fit. My guess is a men's medium. But, ah! Oh, yeah, all right. Patagonia. Love it. I love the logo ones too. Uh, so I will sell it even though I think this would fit me. <laughs> Gosh, why? Um, anyways, I don't know what the hoodies run for. I don't think I've ever sold a spelled out, uh, hoodie like this, but it seems to be in good shape. So that's going in the good pile with only one other item so far. There's a couple decent things, but still only in that, like, you know, 20 to 25 range in this pile. All right. Old Navy. This is extra large, the classic shirt. But oh my gosh, it has pineapple and avocado print. So I will definitely sell this because I think it's funny. And I might only get uh, 10 to 15 for this, but it's an XL and it's a fun print. So absolutely. All right, a new day, one size fits most. I do like that they put one size fits most instead of one size fits all. 
way to go Target. Um, this has some pulls in it. It's just kind of a cardigan. So I don't think that's gonna be worth anything. Although I might try it on because that seems like my kind of style. So we'll put that in my pile with one other thing. I don't need stuff, but. All right, Body Central, again. <laughs> Feels very cheap. So another yard sale piece. All right, Banana Republic Sloan Six Petite. I think I already got a pair of these. So um, we will, I don't know if they were the same size, but we will sell those. Okay, sequins. This could be good or bad. All right, Karl Lagerfeld. Um, you know, he had so many different lines and I usually pass on his stuff because he did have some cheaper lines and I don't know how to distinguish. This does say Karl Lagerfeld Paris um, and it's a size 10. So this could be good. Yeah, this could be good. It's a good size at least, it's classy. So if it's not flawed, I'm sure I can get something. I feel like this is in the range of, it could be, uh, it does have some strings at the bottom. So if it's in good shape, I feel like this is somewhere between 20 to 100. <laughs> That's a really wide range, but I don't know that brand. So I'm gonna have to do a little research. This is Moda International. I've actually never picked up this brand. It is a red dress. Um, kind of a halter style with the crisscross back. It's a cute little lace dress. I just don't think this brand goes for very much, but it seems like an easy photo. So we'll give that a shot. I'm gonna make a pile right next to me. All right, Peppermint USA. This feels boutique-y and it also feels like a little girl's dress. Um, but if you can see the tag over here. So my guess is this boutique. Uh, and not worth anything, so that's probably just a yard sale. All right, Damask. I've seen this out and about, and I every time I go to look for it, it I can't find the brand because it's pit pulling the style. Um, is it Damask or Damask? Um, anyways, this is a great basic. It's two button front. It usually feels like decent quality, so that's why this is actually great. I'll I'll force myself to look for the RN number. I mean, I know the brand name, but I need to figure out a way to find comps for the actual brand, not the style. So, um, but yeah, it's a size XL, which is great. Very classic. All right, Benetton. Um, I feel like this could be something. Size small, 100% cotton. It's got some sleeve accents and some detail on the front, if you can see. I know black is hard. This could be something. I don't know this brand, but I'm feeling optimistic that that will sell for something. Uh, all right, this looks pretty cheap. So it feels like probably the cheapest thing so far. So it is new with tags. It's like a men's shirt, I would guess, but uh, that's a no. <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't ship that to someone because it feels so cheap, so. All right, Lauren, Ralph Lauren. This is just a cropped little knit cardigan. Um, I'll sell it. I usually don't pick up this line, although it doesn't have the size on it. So I'll throw this on the size six mannequin. It should fit and sell it that way. All right, Izzy and Lola, size large. I've never seen this brand, but it is a cute little style, a little off the shoulder number. So I'm sure I can sell this for something, um, but it feels like a boutique brand, so. All right, Christopher and Banks, size large. It is just a floral print, button front. Um, it's like, kind of like a lightweight jacket, in my opinion. Um, that's gonna be yard sale. Okay, I don't know, there's no brand tag on this. It is a cute style, but um, it's a size small, it's polyester. It does have, it doesn't have an RN number, it just has a style number. It does say made in the USA but I just feel like it's cheap since it's got the kind of like plastic. So I'm not gonna sell it if it doesn't have a brand. Oh, there we go. Uh, I am not sure what this brand is. So if you guys know, let me know. C, just C. It's cute, so maybe if I do a Google Lens search, maybe it'll pull up. Okay, Old Navy Active, just a fleece. 
This is just going to be yard sale. Um, this is Carly. This feels like a boutique something. This is a maxi dress, um, kind of Aztec. I'll look this up. Oh, it's a jumpsuit. <laughs> I'll look it up. I it doesn't feel like quality. So my guess is, is if I could sell it, it'd still only be like 15 to 20 at best. All right. UPF 50. I do not know this brand. It's like a little, uh, swim dress or something. Tunic swim cover up. So I'll try and see if uh, I can find that brand, but so that's a maybe. All right, Jessica Simpson maternity. So this will just be yard sale. All right, this is Z Supply. I don't know where they sell this, but I know I see it in the bins. It's just a little maroon kind of shift dress. So I don't think that's worth much. That'll just be yard sale. This is LuLaRoe. Everyone knows the tag, but this one's at least a fun little print, but it'll still be yard sale for me. Athleta, okay. Athleta leggings, size medium. These have pockets on the side, like cell phone pocket area, and it looks like they're full length, so that's good. Maybe a mid-rise, so that's great. So probably maybe 25 to 30 for those. All right, I do not, I do not recognize this. I don't think it's anything, but just a little black blazer. So that will be yard sale. Okay, Reformation. Now, not all Reformation sells for much. I don't have that much luck. Some of it can. This is a cute little midi skirt. So if there's no flaw with this, um, yeah, that's just creases. If there's no flaw with this, hopefully the style is pretty classic. Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to get, um, I don't know on a skirt like this, but maybe somewhere between 30 to 50, fingers crossed. This is Banana Republic, size extra small, just a little black tank with some ruching and then one side has this zipper. So there's ruching on both. So also that, it's pretty basic. So probably only 10 to 12, but it's I like that little accent. All right, I have seen this tag so many times in the bins and I've never picked it up. So better, no better time to learn where it's sold. Ala, A-L-Y-A, just a blue knit sweater. If it's not damaged, it's a size large. It's got this kind of like knot on the back. So I'll try and sell it and see if I can get anything for it. Cotton Emporium. Um, I do like the print on this. It's just a little knit top. So I'll try and sell that because I think it's kind of cute on the front. And then on the back, it's just a basic knit. I don't think this brand is worth much, but I've also never tried to sell it. That's kind of like the best thing about Threaded Boxes is just kind of forces you to try things maybe you would never pick up. All right, this does not feel like anything. If you can see um y o y o five but it just feels pretty cheap like fast fashion it is size large but it definitely runs small so that's probably just going to be a yard sale this is a pretty expensive brand retail but it does not i've tried to sell it a couple times and i can't for the life of me um this is a cold shoulder full zip little jacket or something the brand is drew I sometimes see this in TJ Maxx and Marshalls and those kinds of places, Nordstrom Rack. So again, the retail price on this probably was a couple hundred, but I can't seem to move this. I'll still try and sell this, but um, I might only get $20 for it. All right, Kenneth Cole, just a black and white top. This is a pretty dated look and it doesn't feel like it's in the best condition. So that'll just be yard sale. All right, H&M, it's a little paper bag skirt. I think it's kind of cute for the season so it's pretty tiny size two I'll try and sell that I usually don't pick up H&M but I kind of like the style okay Under Armour just a gray logo tee so you know 10 to 15 these are very rough estimates all right bins large hopefully there's no uh, issues with this it feels like it has some cashmere in it which is great all right, I don't see a material tag, but it definitely feels like it's either all cashmere or somewhat cashmere. So that's good. Hopefully there's no flaws. If there's no flaws uh, because of the size and just kind of the classic style, I might be able to get 30 to 50 for that. Not all Vince items are worth that much, but or would resell for that much, but the size and the style. All right, this is another one of those Carly. So I think I threw that one over there. <laughs> this is kind of an oversized floral. Uh, not sure. 
it again does not feel like good quality so i'll look it up <laughs> i'm not expecting much but all right this is an anthropology brand h-e-i h-e-i hey hey or he he uh little yellow pants i'll sell them if there's no flaw they're pretty tiny so these are a size us zero but what a pop of color all right this is victoria sport little sport bra looks like it's in really great condition and it has a little bit of like a scuba material so i will definitely sell that this is a 34c so absolutely i don't know um i think i tried to sell a victoria sport bra one time from the bins 250 dollars <laughs> oh all right good thank goodness rag and bone new with tags the retail price was $250. It was marked down to $76.98. Uh, this is the Breeze Rosa Mid-Rise and they're size 32. These are Mid-Rise Boyfriend. So these are gonna be more of a relaxed style. Here's the tag right here as well with the style. So that is fantastic. A button fly. Awesome. Awesome. Fantastic. So I will probably take a hairdryer and try and get the uh, sale tags off. Um, but either way, new tags, rag and bone, awesome. And boyfriend is very in right now. So, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> that, that should go in the pile of like, okay, I'm happy. All right, Tommy Hilfiger. This is a very, another uh, dress that I feel like screams 90s. So this is a size two, so I'll sell it. Like you could, you know, do that with docs with some grunge look, a grunge look. Eliza J. And they sell this at department stores like Nordstrom, places like that. But this is very hot pink <laughs> and lots of sequins. I'd be shocked if all the sequins are here. Size 14 though. So you know what? We are going to go for it. I feel like someone could rock this. Um, Someone's gonna rock this. So hopefully there's no spots and I can sell it. Uh, Eliza J, I would say probably I should be a size 14. If there's no flaws, hopefully somewhere between 30 and 50. But all right, Ann Taylor Petite, size medium. How cute is this? It's got these little exposed 3D flowers. That is adorable. So I will sell that if there's no spots. That's adorable, but mine only get, you know, $15. All right, bummer. There's, I love black lace. I love something like this. This might be a keeper if there's no tag and if it fits, I don't know where I would wear something like this too. I'll just rock it around the house. <laughs> um, I don't see any material tag because it's sheer. So my guess is that someone cut that stuff out, but how beautiful. It looks like it might fit. So I need to find somewhere to wear this too. But it looks like it's a maxi. So you would put this over like a slip dress. So. It doesn't feel like high quality, so maybe it's just like from Amazon or something, but yeah. So not sellable, but all right, what is this? Oh my. Hillary Radley. It's like a plastic jacket. Can you, can you hear that? Plastic. Um, I don't think this brand is worth much. Uh, polyester, polyurethane. So yeah, it's just a faux leather. I'll look it up. If there's no spots, I'll try and list it. It's just kind of, yeah, different. All right. Ah, <laughs> please don't be my size. Good. Extra small. Patagonia that's in Chilla, which is their, one of their more cost, common fleeces. This is the T-snap. So one of their more common styles. So hopefully this doesn't have any spots on it, but yes. So that's two Patagonias. Oh, love it. Let me know down below which box you think so far is better. I feel like the second one is a little better, but there, I don't know. There's a good mix. All right, this has no size. Um, it's J. Jill. And it's kind of a tunic length. It's got this t-shirt material underneath and this just like lace overlay. So it looks like it's a, a plus size. So maybe a 1X or 2X. So I'll do measurements, but if there's no spots, I'll sell it. I like J. Jill. This is Mac Studio. Um, I can't imagine this is going to be worth much. So this is probably gonna be yard sale, but just a cream dress. It's an older tag. 
This is Paul Smith, made in Italy. I didn't realize Paul Smith was made in Italy. Uh, just a white button front shirt. Um, I can't imagine this is gonna be worth much, but if there are no stains or anything, I'll sell it. This is Express, size extra small, just a black uh, button front shirt. Um, it kind of feels like a rails to be honest, but the tag is an older tag. So I'll just yard sell that one. Style & Co. You know, I'll sell this because I have sold Style & Co and I really like this print. So this is size medium. Yeah, I might only get, you know, 12 to 15, but that's okay. All right, I don't know what this brand is. The, the label is kind of coming off a little bit, but it looks like CBA or CA performance. Um, I am not familiar with that. So, but they are animal print leggings. Uh, my guess is yard sale because they just don't feel like great quality. This is Loft and it's just a knit tank. I like this. It's very classic and just simple. So I'll sell that. I might only get 15. I looked ahead. <laughs> There's nothing spectacular here. Uh, Gap Factory, just a little button front shirt. I'll just yard sale that. Probably because something like that I'd have to steam and uh, Calvin Klein size medium it's a gray dress I'll sell this I like the zipper accent so not very much money but all right this is Banana Republic Petite Zero wow this is tiny I know the waist is cinched but older Banana Republic tag so I will probably I don't know I do like the style so maybe I'll list it um, yeah, it's factory, so I won't get much. Ooh, 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 there is one more good thing. Okay, <laughs> there was some stuff hiding. Okay, I'm really excited. Uh, just fabulous. Um, I don't know what this is. It's like a tunic. This is a size 2X, so it's just a shirt. I don't think these are worth much, so this is just gonna be yard sale. Okay, I'll save the better one for last. This is two more ends. This is new with tags, Loft. It's extra, extra small, petite. It did retail, although Loft always has sales, but it did retail for $89.50. This is a little dress. How adorable is that? So I might be able to get $30 for that because that's absolutely adorable. All right, any with a bang, girlfriend. All right, I've only found this brand twice and this style is, Jane, the Jane. So this is Girlfriend, the Barney's New York. Um, it looks like it is a mid-rise, um, kind of a relaxed fit, slim leg. So I'm gonna have to look at the style, but absolutely. <laughs> so I think I got some decent stuff. I definitely have a large pile of yard sale stuff. So stay tuned. I'll come right back with a kind of final count for you. All right, so I'm back. I just ran a few numbers just to kind of give you an idea of what I think. So this is all the, what appears to be sellable items. That's 116 items. There were 186 items total. So it's more than half that appear to be sellable. I do have a pile of 11 maybe, but I'm also guessing that probably 11 of these will be flawed in some type. So somewhere over hundred to 115 is what I would guess I can list. And if I were to get an average sale price of $20, when you remove the cost of the box, and you remove the, let's just call it for easy sake, the 20% fees, it would leave me with $1,616 in net profit. That's before taxes. Um, would I recommend this? I have a lot of junk here and I already knew I was gonna have a yard sale or join a yard sale. Um, and so I knew I would have a way, I might be able to get about $30 from the 59 items that are yard sale. So, if half of those sold there for a dollar, I'd also recoup a little money there, which I didn't include in my net profit. But um, I did pay $300 because I had a couple credits uh, that which paid for the tax. It was free shipping. Um, you know, Fredo boxes are just so hit or miss that I can't ever recommend them if you're seriously looking for a sourcing option. Um, and these are bigger boxes. So this is, you know, $300 and you could get all junk. Um, so. I think they're very risky. I think they can be fun if you go in just assuming <laughs> the worst case scenario, but there were some girlfriend jeans, the new, new tags, rag and bone, the couple Patagonia items, and then just a lot of bread and butter. Um, and I don't mind selling that stuff, but it's, 
yeah, I better, I better get started listing. So, and now I've got to put my house back together because I've got piles all over, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. And uh, thanks for watching as always. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.